Hello and welcome to Checking Our Pulse. My name is Marcus Hart. I am the uh, director of the transplant program at Swedish Medical Center. And I'm joined today by uh, uh, Rob Jones and Ben Danielson. Uh, and we're going to check our pulse on the uh, issue that uh, disproportionately affects uh, mother and infant uh, health. Uh, Rob is a uh, second year medical student over at the University of uh, Washington. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Thanks and, for having uh, Ben, you are the director of the uh, Odessa Brown uh, Children's Clinic, is that right? Practicing pediatrician. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Now, you know, we're here focusing on healthcare issues that uh, disproportionately affect African Americans, and one of those is this maternal and infant health. Mm -hmm. And in reviewing the statistics about uh, this issue, it was just astonishing to, to hear for the first uh, issue is that the United States is number 28 in terms of infant mortality, which is hard to believe. But then if you look at infant mortality for African American children, we're essentially uh, at the level of Sri Lanka, third world country, uh, infant mortality right here in the United States now. Ben, can you help us understand how that's possible in the year 2010? Well, I think it's really just such a telling um, indicator of health issues in general for communities of color and uh, the disparate health access and health equity that we see in this country. I'm glad we're talking about a mom and a child together. Yes. Because I think when we're talking about, especially the potential for infant health and a child's future, it really begins before that child is ever born and has a lot to do with how a mom's health is before she even becomes yes. pregnant. Issues revolving around accessing health care and where does the dad fit into this, uh, Rob? Well, that's, that's a good point because uh, I, over the summer, I did an internship where I helped deliver a lot of babies, and one thing I noticed was that the dad actually isn't a sideline player in this. He's at, he's at the front lines. He is yes. able to help hugely in this in terms of reducing the mother's stress level, helping guide her through the process. She's the one carrying this big baby around. Yes. And <laughs> she's got plenty of stuff to think of, and he can help in a huge way. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the driver um, that leads to such low, or su such low uh, success in infant mortality? What, why, what is the main driver? Well, I do think it's rather multifactorial. Yes. I think there are issues that exist within the healthcare system and access to it that are important to think about. I think there are factors that lead to um, problems with healthy pregnancies. There are issues of stress. Stress. And I really feel like stress is one of the underlying issues that uh, is at the heart of many of these health issues we talk about, from cardiovascular disease on down through maternal and infant health. Yeah, so it's not a simple uh, issue, but are there some factors that we can control? Uh, you know, when mothers are pregnant, are there, are there some messages that we can send them about things that they should and should not be doing? Absolutely. Um, I think, first of all, this is one of those times when it's an opportunity for us as a community, as a group, as a people, as a broader family to really support the future health of every, every child, every pregnancy. Yes. I think we're talking about helping mothers feel more comfortable and more supported as they go through pregnancy, encouraging great prenatal care because there are so many great medical options and support systems in place if you feel comfortable accessing them. I think there are issues of prenatal health, prenatal vitamins, prenatal checks, yes. and really following through on all of the health advice that uh, helps lead to so, so many of the advances that have brought down infant mortality for uh, just about everybody over the past 50 years. Yes. Things, um, issues like smoking mm -hmm. and drug use, how does that affect um, the infant's development? You know, if the mom smokes cigarettes or uses drugs, what, what is that doing to the child? I think lifestyle choices are, are a big part of the problems here. Uh, smoking decreases uh, blood flow to the, yes. to the baby during development. It's almost like making the baby hold his breath while the mom is smoking. Hey. Yes. Exactly. It increases uh, the mother's blood pressure, which has its own ramifications. Yes. Um, they're, they're, what types of foods the mother eats. You know, mm -hmm. Diabetes has a huge role in how the baby's uh, outcome could be. Yes. You know, so. yes. so all these things, multi, multiple factors uh, play a role. Now, why would there be more stress in the African American community versus the majority community. Tell, tell us how that impacts health, because that's the angle that, um, that, uh, that you see it. One quick diversion is just, I, I saw um, a really interesting interview uh, at one point where a group of women were uh, asked how often they think about their race. And yes. when they asked um, a group of Caucasian women, they said almost never. And when they asked a group of African American women, they said all the time. 
yes. this concept of race being a factor in everyday life and the way that we are treated and perceived, um, the way we navigate our world has an impact on the amount of stress that we feel every single day. Yes, so if we were to send a message out to mothers and, and fathers, um, what would the call to action be? What, what, what tangible things can we uh, uh, tell people? I would, say, I would say seek care early, before, even before the pregnancy. Your, your personal day-to-day -day care and relationship with the yes. physician is important. Yes. I would say also um, that every mother uh, needs to really embrace the broader community of support that's there for them. That uh, we, as men, we need to step up to our roles and our responsibilities as supportive parts of that triad that is helping a child come into the world in a healthy way. Yes. I think that uh, people need to know that for the stress that they feel out there, there is just as much love and positive energy, that there are very good health practices that can make every pregnancy um, a much better one. Very good. Thank you so much, Ben. Rob, we appreciate it. This is go going to be an ongoing uh, segment at the Northwest African American Museum that's going to be uh, continuing until June of 2011. Thank you for joining us.